Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Hello. Good to see ya. Paul Tranny and the one and only Howard Pinsky is here in the house. How are you, Paul? I'm doing fantastic. Feeling good. We're both looking good. You're yep. you're matching the background. I we're am we're coordinated. Look at that. Man, it's like we planned this or something. Totally. So. And hopefully our audio sounds great. You made some adjustments off stream. I did. I, yeah. Yeah, just, uh, yeah, worked on the, 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 the tubes and the pipes and uh, the steam the steam machine that does audio or something like that. Indeed. But, uh, yeah, let us know in the chat if things are looking good and fancy. Yeah, it would be yeah. great Turtleneck too. Tuesday, indeed. Where's your turtleneck? <laughs> turtleneck. Tuesday. Yeah. Help us all. <laughs> Sounds perfect. Yes. All right. So glad. Just a simple restart. Amazing what a simple restart will do. Yeah. So that is good. But I'm happy to have you here. We had fun yesterday. I think we what did you have made fun. yesterday was like awesome. Thank you. Um, well, hopefully you'll do a recap of that, but also yeah. just kind of, I guess we'll, again, should be a good day. We have you for two hours. Actually, let's kind of click through the schedule if you don't mind. Sure. Go for it. Um, yeah. That's kind of what we have going on. Today on Adobe Live, obviously, Cloudies, this is day six, is what the challenge says. That sounds right. Yes, that is right. Seven day right. streaming, sixth day doing that. Uh, Jesse, thank you so much, buddy. Your audio is sounding good too, uh, and your whole stream. And now we have Howard for the last, for two hours, the last two hours, which is a bummer. I mean, I'm sure, yeah, this is the the beginning of lots of, lots of streaming that we will be doing. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. We're missing half my body, but that's okay. Yeah, you know. Who needs the other half who, of me? Who needs the other half? Especially when you have glorious graphics like this. There you go. Just, there you go. There's just half of a me. A perfect crop. Just yeah. perfect crop. Look at that. All right. I'll, let's so let's all scoot over. Oh, no. You, you get this way. Okay. We're, we're good. <laughs> Let me just move my mic over. It'll be poking in oh, the scene a little bit, yeah. but that's okay. We were trying to keep that from happening. That's but, not bad. Ooh, that there looks we go. really good. That works. Okay. Yeah. So, um, hi. I'm Howard Pinsky. You may have seen me on Adobe Live. Uh, masterclasses, letsxd.com. I'm all over the place, but I'm a guest this week. Yay. First time. Yay. It's exciting. Um, and if you don't know who I am, you can find me all over the place. You can go to Dribble. You can find some of the stuff that I've been working on. You can go to letsxd.com, which is where I upload all of my Adobe XD training videos. My title at Adobe is XD Evangelist, so I produce a lot of videos, a lot of live streams, which is probably where you've seen me at some point. Uh, if you want to just get started with XD, I've got stuff there. I've got daily challenge, not daily challenges. I've got five minute challenges that kind of go alongside the daily challenges. These are uploaded every second Monday and the Mondays that do not have daily challenges. And you probably just watch Jesse kick off day number six of the, where's the day number seven? Six, probably, of the daily creative challenge, which was great. Always, always good times. Yeah. And, um, if anyone has questions throughout this stream, throw them in the chat. Paul's going to do his best to mm -hmm. take a look at those while he prepares for other streams. We're going to be streaming yeah. a lot later. <laughs> we have a lot going on. Yeah, it's we, good. Have, we have a lot. It's but nice because it's, it's like we have friends out there. <laughs> like Otherwise, it's just us uh, like us home alone. Right. So if we weren't talking to you guys, I don't know who else we'd talk to. So we really appreciate hanging out. Yeah. Uh, hey, Munir. Hey, Jack and Val and Richard and Corey and Aiken or Akin, I think it is. Uh, Jennifer, Benny, what's up, everyone? Yeah, it looks like Benny actually saw you prototype some work on Twitter and uh, is looking forward to seeing uh, some of that. Yeah, uh, so today. yeah, so I did some tweaking last night to the design. And usually, guests, you know, they do some tweaking, then they bring it back for day number two. But I figure, you know what? I'm going to just show some of that stuff, what I did overnight, and, you know, how it has changed since yesterday. We're going to show you. Actually, let me hop into. I want to take a sip of coffee, but let me oh, yeah. let me do that. Hold you on. You go ahead and, and that's when I talk. And I think what you made yesterday was like really fun, especially as you got into like auto animate. Was, yeah, uh, super cool. So we started off yesterday with an onboarding screen, and the concept of this project, I suppose you want to call it, which at the moment we're calling Gather with no vowels, because that's I think as Kate put it, the hipster way of doing mm -hmm. it. I'm too old for that, the, but <laughs> it's the way it is. Um, so we started with an onboarding. So yeah, the project, the concept of the project is to build out a bunch of social media screens and eventually release them as a UI kit. I figured I would get a lot more done yesterday, but we, I was so fixated on the onboarding animations and the, the look and feel of the application, which is going to change a little bit. So 
it may take maybe a, another master class or another stream or whatever it might be to finish all of this stuff and then I'll release it eventually without some of the licensed images of course. So we put together this screen here to start and I wanted to give users an option of how to get to the next screen. So of course they could press the next button and you're going to notice a few animations that do take place throughout this uh, process and you can also swipe over and here's kind of where you can see the animations take place. So there's a few things going on. One, of course, there's a drag interaction at the top, and you might notice that some of the elements on the cards that are coming in from the right are moving at different speeds, right? You kind of see ooh, things are kind of, things are happening back there. Mm -hmm. And that's all accomplished by just moving some of those elements on the first artboard and moving them on the second artboard, which is fun. Uh, someone says, Howard, your site is excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. A lot more content coming, and of course the March update is coming at some point in March, I can't say when, but there will be more content on Let's XD when that happens. Um, a few other things are happening. The, the text in the middle, the header and the description, they're kind of fading in and out, which you may want. I mean, it happens so quickly, you probably don't even notice it, right? But we're going to have a little bit of fun with that in a second. And then at the bottom, we've got this little guy here. Let me drag this, and you can kind of see mm -hmm. it, 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 it along, elongates, and then it kind of shrinks down. And that was all done using masks. Do you have a tissue, by the way, Paul? Yeah. I got you. My Kevin. allergies are like crazy. It's the dark week. cat. It might be the cat. There's a we cat got a upstairs. Gato. And I am, I am Shame. literally deathly allergic to cats. I, deathly. I almost died when I was 18. So you're... You're saying I shouldn't have the cat down here? You don't just okay. No. That's such a <laughs> I feel so bad. I'm sorry. No, it's all good. It's like upstairs, upstairs, and yeah. I was I was downstairs. So I, I might not die. Yeah, so again, there's a, there's a lot of things happening. But I want to make this experience a little bit better, and I may want to add an additional screen. So that's what we're going to start with. And then we want to get into a few additional things. You know, for day two, we're going to be tweaking that onboarding flow with some additional animations and a few other things. We want to add an additional step, so maybe live streaming, something like that, part of the onboarding flow. I want to tweak the home screen, not only the design of it to match the aesthetics of the onboarding flow, but also add a fab menu. You may have noticed on some apps like Twitter, or even I think the Lightroom app has a little floating action button. And when you either tap on that or hold on that button, something happens. Things fly out and do that sort of thing. Everyone's uh, concerned about the cats, yes. Mm -hmm. I'll be okay, I think. And um, I might wanna, we might get to a profile with different tabs that you can either swipe between. We're gonna be using components and things like that. And then if we have time, we might tackle light mode or dark mode, depending oh, on wow. which direction we take this screen. Mm -hmm. So, here we go. We're gonna start. Yeah, so, go ahead. Yeah, I just didn't know if you wanted another tissue. I'm gonna set up next to you. Oh, okay, I got one. Okay. Um, yeah, it should be okay. If I fall on the floor, that's not uh, a good thing. It's not a good thing. <laughs> but I should be fine. I took some Claritin this morning. That's good. It won't help completely, but you know, we'll see what happens. It could be a fun stream. Oh man. First death on Adobe Live. <laughs> no, no thank you. Unsubscribe to that. <sighs> yeah. People are probably shaking their heads at home. <laughs> All right, so one thing I want to do for this particular element here where the, the text kind of fades in and out. I thought it'd be kind of cool if the text disappears and then new text appears. So I wanna, I wanna tackle that first. And then we're gonna make a few small changes to the little dots at the bottom just to give it a little bit more style. Uh, Val says, no, <laughs> I'll try not to. All right, so what we're gonna do, very similar to what we did with little dots at the bottom. I don't know what these are called. Um, <laughs> Yeah. What the, I know they're indicators. indicators. I think it's yeah, probably that. Um, very similar to what we did with the little indicator, we're going to be using masks. So I'm going to start with the share header, and I'm going to simply grab a rectangle, draw one out just like this. The camera didn't appreciate my joke. <laughs> so I'm going to draw one out just like that. And within the layers panel, I'm going to make sure to select the rectangle that I just drew out and the share text. And once those are both selected, under the object menu, we've got mask with shape. And that will allow me to basically put that share header text inside of that mask. Now, nothing really looks like it changed, which is exactly what I wanted. I want that text to be someone's yelling, page indicators, yes, thank you. Um, and breadcrumbs is also another one, Richard. Uh, that's, I think that's much, 
older school. Mm-hmm. I remember breadcrumbs way back in the day. I don't yeah. know if we still use that anymore, but you know, some people may. Uh, so I'm going to just name this header. So again, nothing has changed, and that's exactly what I want. What I want to do is grab the additional text here, copy that, and paste it inside of the mask. So I'm going to make sure to go into the mask, paste it. And this one I just want right about... Actually, I want it a little bit lower, because essentially what I want to happen, and this will make a little bit more sense on the next artboard, is I want when the transition takes place, share to move down, nothing to be there, and then shoot to move up. And you'll, again, it'll make sense in a little bit. I'm gonna do the exact same thing with this text here. Grab my rectangle, draw one out across the artboard, leaving a little bit of padding on all the sides, just in case this text over here is a little bit longer or shorter. And then select both of them. Object, mask with shape, boop, there we go. And now I have uh, our mask. And I can just name this, let's say, description. Description. Beautiful. <laughs> Alexander, is a camera allergic to cats? <laughs> it's just an older camera, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it New is. one's coming, though. New one is coming. That's right. <laughs> so I'm going to paste this text in there again. I want to make it a little bit lower than the other one. Again, so that there's that room for transition. Now, in this artboard, because I've changed things drastically, I'm simply going to delete both of those layers. And now I can grab these two, paste them on this artboard, and now I can start making those changes. So for this one, because I want share to move a little bit faster, I can just move this, whoops, I can dive into the mask, just move it just below the, the mask bounds, and then move shoot into place. Like that, and I can do the exact same thing for this. Just move that just like that, and then cats and dogs and all the fun stuff, move that up into place. And that's it. Very simple changes, nothing too crazy. And now if all goes right, we should see some pretty fun stuff. So let me move this out of the way. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit so we can see what's going on. And now when I drag this over, you're noticing the share text and the description are kind of moving out of place. So it looks like I need to make a little bit of little little change there. And then the other other header and the description are kind of moving up. And if we look at that really quickly by just pressing on next, you can kind of see that fun animation. And to make those changes, I can just dive in here and just move this one. Was it this? Yeah, this one I want over there. Actually, it's this one. I want to dive in here, move this a little bit further down, and then, woo! Oh, I think I almost got it. Another thing you can do if you want to get really fancy is you can increase the line height. So I'm going to increase the line height a little bit, and that'll allow each line of that text to kind of collapse as it's coming into view. So let's see what that looks like. Drag this over. Oh, almost got it. Almost, almost, almost. One more time. I mean, it happens so fast that you probably won't really notice that, but I want to make sure it's right. Almost. It's so close. Almost got it. Maybe move it down even more. And maybe at some point in the future, there will be better ways to do this. I mean, this isn't really a difficult way to do it. It just requires a little bit of patience, making sure everything kind of comes in exactly the way you want it. And almost, it's it's close enough. And I might do want to do the same thing for shoot, just move that down just a little bit more as well. And then, there we go. That looks pretty good. What do you think, Paul? I think it looks awesome. Thank you. Fancy. All right. So that's good enough for now. We're going to leave that there. I do want to make a few small tweaks to our little page indicators at the bottom. Nothing too crazy, but I want to give it a little bit of style. And to do that, again, let me show you what it looks like down here at the bottom. Let me drag this. So we have a little bit of an elongated action going on, and then when it's released, it kind of squishes down. And if you missed yesterday's stream, essentially how that's done is we have a mask here, and it's a rounded rectangle. The same thing as the actual active indicator. They're both rounded rectangles, and that allows me to stretch it out as I need to. So on this artboard, the mask is a little bit longer than the actual rectangle. And then on this one, the mask squishes down, but the actual indicator elongates. So it kind of does a little bit of a switch and a transition between the two artboards. 
and that will gives it the illusion that it's getting a little bit longer and then a little bit shorter. But what if I wanted to add a little bit more style? All I have to do is just grab the indicator here and just pull it out a little bit more. And what you're going to notice is that now when I play this, when I start dragging, you're going to notice the left side kind of gets a little bit larger first, mm -hmm. and then it kind of does its thing. So if I just press next, see that? It's, a l it's mm -hmm. very subtle, and most people probably won't even notice it, but it makes me happy, right? <laughs> it does a little thing. It looks cool. Yeah. Just like that. Fancy, right? Fancy, in indeed, Richard. Fancy, fancy. So that's all I wanted to do. Just add a little, little, little thing here and there. And again, like I mentioned earlier, I might want to add an additional uh, onboarding screen because we do have three dots and I might as well use all of them. And I think someone asked yesterday, so you've done the, you know, you did the transition between dot one and dot two with the masks. How do you do it between dot two and dot three? Well, let me show you. And if again, if anyone has questions, throw them in there. Yeah, we are here for you, whatever you need, within reason. I mean, we can't go, yeah. you know, go pick up packages for you at the at the U UPS store or something. Hey, you like can that. go. I can I can just handle. Okay. <laughs> I'll just I slowly slink down here. Yeah. No. It's going to pop up with I wanna a package. I want to hang out cuz I like I like I I think these everything you're showing and even just the elegant motion that you're doing is great for anybody even doing like motion design. Yeah. So even if you're doing after after effects he's a little weeks that you're making just you know add a level of sophistication to it yeah and there's a lot of cool stuff you can do in xd once you really start diving into things i've done some pretty interesting stuff that i've uploaded to dribble of course the bb8 that we've we've maybe all seen uh the exploding heart we might get into at some point today what other fun things have i done i don't know i posted some stuff on twitter too oh this one is fun this little swipe to delete Oh, that's a little fun. liquid effect type of mm -hmm. thing and explodes a lot of fun stuff you can do mm -hmm. all right so that is a killer glass for your water it's actually one of Paul I stole one of Paul's glasses yeah but it's a nice fun. large glass that's the same one that the cat drinks out of is that a problem <laughs> just joking <laughs> yes jerk gosh Paul you jerk don't need to worry about the <laughs> coronavirus there's not no to worry kidding. about cats True. All right. For you, that is more. Cats are more. It dangerous. probably is. You're, I think you're and right. And you didn't have a cat the last time I got no, here. I was not. here. All of a sudden, I come here and there's a cat. All of a sudden, I came here and there was a cat. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, yeah, you know how cats are. They just show up and own the place. So what am I to do? I pay exactly. it rent now. It's a whole thing. Gosh. So. All right. So for dot number three, it's actually very simple. It's, it's similar to what we did for dot number one and two, but it's kind of the opposite, right? So I'm gonna grab the the mask. I'm actually going to grab the, let's go for the active dot. I'm going to move that over. I'm going to zoom in here so we can really line things up. I'm going to pull this in to make it nice and circular. And you can see in the properties inspector that it is nice and circular. Of course, if it's not, you can always change it. And a little shortcut that we added probably two updates ago, three, I don't know when. I can't keep track of these updates. But if you have an object selected and you hold down your command or control key, and then you use the right or down arrow keys, you can actually enlarge your shapes by one pixel in each direction. Or if you hold down command and shift, you can enlarge them by 10. Huh. So you can get very precise. And of course you can turn your grids on to make sure everything lines up and all fun stuff. Now, I also wanna select the mask and simply just enlarge it like this. And if, I, if I've done this correctly and I've thought this through, we should now be able to press on next within prototype mode, drag this wire to the next artboard. We wanna make sure that auto animate is selected under action. And then we'll do it, let's say an ease in and out. What did I have for, let's see, I had ease in and out in 0.8 seconds. And let's see, did it work? It did, fancy, wonderful. And I believe if I dive in here, if I make the mask larger on this one as well, we'll get that same effect. Woo! That's a bit too drastic. I want it nice and subtle. So again, I'll just dive in, make some small tweaks and... Into it. Woo! Beautiful. Of course, we have to tackle all the text and all that fun stuff, but looking at the entire flow from the first screen, we've got Again, focusing on the dots, we're going to get to the text in a second. We've got the first dot, the second dot, 
and third dot. Looks pretty good. Nice. Yeah. I love it. I'm, I'm digging it. Mm -hmm. I can't wait yeah. to upload this somewhere and finish yeah. and, uh, you know, upload it so all of you can dive in and play around with it. So, of course, now we have the fun part, right? We have the text set up on the screen one, screen two, but we don't have the text set up on screen three. So, before we dive into, um, you know, what we could do is grab, let's actually just ungroup these for now, unmask them, and just work on the actual copy. Let's get rid of these ones, these ones, and let's go, let's say go live. And what should we type for this one? We want to focus on live streaming of some sort. Um, let's see, I'm, again, we're not good at copy, copy editing, and there's yeah. like a 15 second delay in the chat, so we may not get some answers for a while. So we can just sit here and uh, stare at the camera. Go live. Lights, camera, that's good. Action. Um, grab a controller or open your favorite design application and go live. I don't know. We're gonna run with it. If someone has a better suggestion, we'll use that. So we've got our text here. And now we want to incorporate this into the second artboard so that it can transition into the third. So I'm going to grab the header text. I'm going to dive in here, paste it. Now you're noticing that the mask is, is a different size. It's not long enough. So all I can do is, in that case, is just grab the mask and make it bigger. And it will transition from the first artboard to the second. It'll make it larger. But you won't notice it because it's a mask and, and there's nothing hiding underneath it. So it should work. And go live, I want to make sure to move down here and then we've got to grab the description pop it into this mask we're going to move it very similar to what we did in this artboard all the way down there so i'm going to grab it just move it woo, all the way down there i do want to have the same effect so i'm going to increase the line height just like that beautiful and now i can delete it from here copy these paste them and now just move shoot down, go live up. I'm gonna move this one down and this one, I believe that was 29, this one up into place. Bam, there we go. All right, oh, we have suggestions. Lights, camera, cats, grab your favorite cat along uh, to shoot and yeah. post. Oh, Richard, Richard, Richard. You crazy kid, <laughs> I don't know about that one. No. Steve says, looks like the header is just a nano pixel too indented to the right a bit. It's very possible, uh, Steve. It's very, you know what? You are probably right. And this is kind of where guides come into play. So I can just line this up. You know what? You're wrong. Look at that. It's not. I mean, if we really want to get, it's probably like half and half of a half of a half of a pixel. And here too, it's probably. See, on this one, because of the, because of that first letter, it's a little bit off. But you know what? We're gonna run. We're gonna just keep going. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna keep going. Do it. I think we're. we're I think we're in good shape. I think we've got the text on all of them set up. We've got little indicators set up as well. So let's see how this looks. I'm gonna use the drag trigger at the top just to kind of see everything slowly in action. So we've got our text, we've got our indicator looking pretty good on this artboard. And on this one, oh, you know what we don't have? So the text looks good, the indicator looks good, but we don't have a new image for the top. So that's what we have to do. We need an image. I'm gonna hop over to Finder. And we've got some additional images here. Let's see, what, what do we have? We got that one. I mean, that could work for live streaming. What do you think, Paul? That image is that's not yeah, bad. I, I love the whole, the lines kind of say like kind of live streaming. Yeah. It's a stream of lines. It's kind of oh, like this, one's this not stuff bad is kind of fun. Yeah. That one I think we, did we use that one? I don't know. That one, you, no, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So I, I would think either this one here or the one with the gaming. Hmm. Uh, well, uh, yeah. 
pros and cons of both. Like, I would probably remove the the control. I kind of feel like removing that controller so they know it's not just gaming. Yeah. The other one I like. It looks like a platform. It does. So it's like you're broadcasting to the world. So I prefer this one. Okay. I mean. And I think with this, I, well, both of them, we can probably have some movement as well. We can move those people kind of mm -hmm. into place. So let's yeah. go ahead and do that one. I'm going to drag this into Adobe XD. And if anyone doesn't know out there, XD opens Illustrator files. So it's bringing in all the vector images that were vector paths and all that fun stuff that was part of that uh, file. And I can zoom in as much as I want and it's very crispy. Now is that what, is that a continuous beard hair thing? <laughs> That's strange. <laughs> I don't know what to call it, a beard yeah, hair thing? Yeah, it's so, I don't so know. funny. You know what? We're going to run with that. Beard it's like, where thing. does the hair on your head and the beard end and the, your beard begins? Yeah. Flows. Now this one, I want to make, I want to add some movement as well. Just kind of move some of these guys out of place. Maybe move these, whoop, and move this, whoop, fancy. Uh, oh yeah, I also wanted to grab these like we did on the first artboard shrink them down and then just grab this oops grab the entire group and just move this off the artboard and again because it's in oh it's not at the moment so what i have to do is actually post put this group in here a hair hair helmet oh i kind of like that little guy down there just kind of hanging out by yes. the header looks so good kind of works yeah we can we can mess with that a little bit now, I have this one on here, I'm gonna go call this live, and now I can grab the photos layer, move this off the artboard, and because it's inside of a group with another element that is on the artboard, I think we're, we're good, it won't go onto the pasteboard. Richard said beard hair, uh, yep, elaborate face tattoo, it could be, beard envy. I am envious of people who can grow nice beards. I just we can't are. do it. Like Peter Del Tondo, he's got a, a great yeah. beard. Yeah. I just can't do it. That's true. but. Honestly, you reach a certain age and you're just happy to have hair, period. That is true. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> so you switch from like being jealous to just being super thankful. <laughs> like, yeah. So anyway, but yes, I have, I have beard envy as well. Yeah. Now, we've got this on this artboard, but of course, if we were to go from this artboard to the next, it kind of just does this weird fade thing because it is not present on artboard number two. So what we're going to do, after we stop rhyming, we're going to grab the live group pop it in here on artboard number two. I do want to make a few changes, so I want to grab this little guy here. I can just move him out, or, or a female, I'm not sure. Could be a female, could be a guy, doesn't matter. Drag this one out, maybe this guy. Oop, oh, I took off his shirt, that's, that's awkward. <laughs> Drag him over a little bit. You can even have some fun with these little chat bubbles, because again, everything is vector in this crazy file. Love it. Yeah. And this is probably, I mean, realistically, you're probably not going to spend this much time on these tiny little this, micro interactions. Is this where you get lost a little bit? Oh, you start playing with absolutely. Those. And like, maybe people will see it, maybe they won't. Yeah, but, but it you, makes me you, happy. Yeah, you, yeah, exactly. And I can post it on Dribble or I can post it on Behance. And if one person says, ooh, look at the thing at the top, mm -hmm. then I'm like, yeah, I did that. Uh, how's chat going? Chat's good. Javal says, even I'm jealous of Peter's beard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so we've got this in here, and I can go to the parent of this group, which I can just do by pressing the escape key a few times, or I can, of course, just grab it in the layers panel and just move this off to the side, just like that. Beautiful. All right, here we go. Oh, I didn't set up a drag trigger. So I'm gonna grab this group at the top, drag it over to this artboard, it automatically defaults to auto animate, which is good. With drag triggers, you really don't have to worry about the easing options. No matter what you set, it's basically gonna look the same, so don't worry about that. And here we go. Let's actually start from the beginning. So, we've got our first screen. This is focused on sharing. We can drag over, and you can notice those little animations kinda doing its thing at the top. There we go, and then we've got our third and final one. I think I missed the drag. Drag and then, no, what am I doing? I did something wrong. Let's figure it out. Let's what did I do it out wrong? Together. Yeah. 
So in this one, I dragged, okay, oh, I dragged the entire, okay, I see. I see what I did. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not very bright. I, I told you all that you have to choose a drag trigger, and I had a tap trigger selected. Mm. So now we can choose a drag trigger, and we can do this again. This is fun. Let's do it again. Someone is asking, who designed all these vectors? They look great. I, I, I wish I had, actually, do I have the artists up in here? Hopefully there's no confidential information. There does not look to be. Okay, so here's the, here is the uh, images that I grabbed from Adobe Stock, and the artist is visual generation on Adobe Stock. So if you do need really cool illustrations, that is the artist. And we did license these from Adobe Stock, okay. so, you know, they're fair game for me at least. All right, so here we go, one more time. We've got the drag trigger at the top. Everything looks fancy, the little indicators at the bottom. Woo, hey Kate, welcome. And then we've got our drag trigger again. Very subtle animations going on. Those little people kind of come into place and settle right there. Now, I'm not kind of loving what this is looking like, so I'm just gonna dive in here, make a few small changes. Just move this guy or woman out of the way a little bit. Maybe I'll move the book and the pen just a touch. Now these people you can't even see, so I might just move. That's definitely a guy with his beard hair thing. <laughs> and this one will just kind of pop over here a little bit. There we go. And one more time. There we go. And of course you can do it from the beginning using the next button, next, and everything looks fancy. And of course you can also go back by pressing the other Indicator. So if I want to go back to the previous artboard, I can press on this one. Or of course you can set up an additional drag trigger, grabbing something, some other element. But I can just drag this over, make this tap. We'll do in and out in 0.8 seconds. There we go. So from the beginning, we've got one, two, and three. Everything looks good. Of course, after this screen, you might want to go straight to your home feed. You might want a sign up experience, something to that extent, but we're not going to get into that today. I do want to move on to the home screen and I want to make some tweaks. I'm actually going to duplicate this home screen just so we can kind of have both as reference. And one thing I kind of want to do, because if you look at the aesthetics of this artboard here, this home, this onboarding flow, it really doesn't match all of this. And sometimes it's not a terrible thing, but it's some, in some cases you want consistency. So we are going to alter this artboard. We're gonna keep this one here because we might want a dark mode at some point, but we might want to go for like a light mode with the pinks and the purples and the, these fun blobs possibly. So here we go. We're gonna just dive in. We're gonna start with the big blocks. And in that case, it is the header at the top and the navigation bar at the bottom. I'm gonna grab some water. You all listen to the music. Let me know uh, how these tracks come through. Um, basically, it's like a new library for me, just so you know. So maybe something might come in hot. Just like let us know if there's any issues whatsoever that you have. Just like draw it to our attention and we'll take yeah. care of it. Cool. So grabbing the header at the top. And by the way, my mic's moving. Um, by the way, uh, if you do have a group selected or a mask or a component, and you want to immediately grab an element inside of that group mask or component, just hold down your command or control key and just click. It'll just dive in there. It'll, it'll ignore the parent of that uh, group object or component or mask or, and just grab it. So we've got that selected. Now, there's a few ways we can go about this, right? We can grab, I'm gonna turn off the border. We can grab our fill and we can sample a color up here. That looks okay. We can grab a, uh, you know, a sample color here. It's probably a little bit too dark. Just to kind of give us a better perspective on what this is going to look like, I'm actually going to change the background color of this artboard to white. Again, just to match the aesthetics of the uh, onboarding flow. And now let's go ahead and see what this looks like. So we've got this pink, not bad. And I might also want to change this icon at the top just to white. That looks a little bit better. I might want to also add a border on the profile picture just so it doesn't blend in too much. Of course, it's going to depend on the profile picture. But if we do add a border, let's say a white border, we can also just drop the opacity a little bit on that border. 
just to add a little bit of separation. I don't know, what do you think, Paul? Solid white or just a little bit of... Uh, I, I think, yeah, let's see the other way. The one before and the one... And this is just highlighting you. Uh, I want to say solid white. Yeah. Because it matches the other. Right. We can do that. All right. Cordelian says, fancy onboarding. Nice micro interactions. Thank you. Music seems good. It's good. Slightly distracting, Christina says. Well, sorry, Christina. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, the ones with the voices. Oh, yeah. thank you. So can, that's, that's what I'm trying to like. That's I, good I, feedback. I, the ones that have voice, I'm trying to kill those tracks, but it's a, it's a yeah. huge library. Yeah. So. Oh, she's, Christine is also saying, should the logo be on the first three artboards? And you're probably right, Christina. Uh, just to really kind of brand that. I don't have a logo that I'm really fond of. I just grabbed this fire icon. But, you know, it could be, it probably wouldn't work up here because there is the notch at the top of the iPhone. But... You know, you can always just kind of tuck it in the corner there. That actually doesn't look too bad. So I can just copy it and paste it on both of these artboards. That's not too bad. We're gonna leave it. We're gonna run with that for a little bit. See what that looks like. And maybe if you really want to get crazy with the micro interactions, we can add like on each artboard, the flame kind of flickers, which could be fun. <laughs> All right. Uh, product, Dan says, product question. Will nested components that allow a second rollover be coming at some point? I think the short answer is probably. Um, I've, I've addressed this with the team and I, it's definitely on their radar. Um, but I don't, I don't know a time frame for that, but I know for a fact that the team is exploring many different improvements to components and states. And that might be one of them. So possibly. I don't know for sure, but I know it's on their radar. So that's a good thing. All right, so continuing on with this. That pink doesn't look too bad. I think it's it's a nice nice enough pink that it could work. Now, of course, because we changed the background color to white, we have to make some changes to the stories section. We're just gonna kind of go down this artboard. So I'm gonna grab this, change the border to white. Now this one, be excuse me, I blame the cat. Um, <laughs> because these are in a repeat grid, I can just have to change it once. So I can dive in here, grab this, change this to white, and there we go. I can change mm. the text. <laughs> You know, sometimes pure black works. I just like, for some reason, I just like bumping it up just a little bit. Into it. Just a tiny bit. Yep. I'm gonna copy that hex code. Pop it in there. That looks pretty good. Oh, oh yeah, this is the one I overrode. So this, in that case, there we go. So that's a story that you've already watched. Mm -hmm. Cool. Beautiful. I like it. Um, Dan's asking if there's, uh, well, Will nested components uh, allow, like, allowing for a second rollover becoming soon at some point? I answered it. Huh? I answered it. Answer oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Paul's not shows paying attention. You, shows you that I was not paying attention. <laughs> Trying to... I missed it. For those who missed that answer, the short answer is probably. I just don't know oh, okay. when on the road I'm the one of the people map. that missed it, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. It's all good. Yeah. All right, so things are, this this is repetitive down here, but we're, we we can work on that later. And of course, we want the navigation bar to kind of mimic that header at the top. There's a few additional things that we may need. These borders probably need to be brought down quite a bit, so they're nice and subtle. Same thing in the repeat grid. I'm just gonna dive in here and make those changes. And then for the navigation bar, we can use the same color at the top. I can either sample it just like that, or if I was smart, I would go into my assets panel, make sure that text is added. I can also just use the header text, which is basically the same color. I can just do that. Now I do have a background blur on this one, so I'm just going to turn that off. And someone is asking, should there be equal weight on the icons in the header? Uh, there probably should. Yeah, this is this is all over the place right now. But for now, we might get back to that at some point. But for now, we're going to leave it. And we're going to come back to it. But speaking of icons, these now are standing out just a little bit. So I might just want to bring the color down a little bit. Just a touch. You don't want to go too far down because then it could cause some accessibility issues. So maybe just somewhere right about there. 
And I might consider dropping this down to about one. Possibly. Let's see what that looks like. That's not too bad. I'm not loving it. But I'm not hating it. Hmm. I think it. I think we'll, we'll yeah, run with it. Good. We'll see what happens. I'll do the same here. Yeah, I mean, I do. I like it. I like it. I like that lighter color. I like that it's, yeah, it looks more elegant. Yeah. In my opinion. And if I was smart, again, which I, I guess I wasn't, I would have turned these icons into components yesterday. That way I just have to edit one of them. Luckily, some of them are inside of a repeat grid, so I can get away with that. But yeah, I should have turned these into individual components so I could override them all at once. But you know, sometimes I'm just not smart. But you know, that that's life. You're smart. Thank you, Paul. All right, so this is looking okay. It kind of now matches the aesthetic of the onboarding flow. It's it's probably not perfect, but I think we're gonna we're gonna run with this and see what happens. One thing that I do want to touch on is adding that fab menu that I talked about. And I did write it down in here. I wanted an animated fab menu on the home screen. And essentially what that is, is if you if any of you have the Twitter app on your phone, uh, I think Lightroom has it as well. What other apps have a fab menu? A lot of Android apps have fab menus. And it's like this little, it looks like a plus icon. I mean, I'll design it in a second, but you can hold down and additional icons come up. So you can very quickly get to various things mm -hmm. on your design. So let's go ahead. And by the way, you can scroll down and everything. Oh, I didn't change the, the line weight or the line color on this. So I'm gonna just dive in here very quickly. Bam, fancy, all right. <laughs> Richard's saying just a tad lighter, but not too light on the icons. Yeah, I may tweak that at some point. It looks okay for now, but I don't want to go too light, again, because it could cause some accessibility issues. Munir, how much time do you spend on your project presentation compared to the entire time you spend on your project? I would say the project is probably takes up most, most of my time. I, it really depends on, I suppose it depends on what the, the the reason for the pre presentation is. If you're trying to get investors or someone to buy into your project, then you'll probably want to spend a little bit more time on the presentation once you get the designs kind of settled in. But in this case, probably mostly the actual project and then a little bit presentation. And it might show you a little bit of the presentation afterwards using components and things like that. So here we go. Cornelian saying, I'll be implementing Fab Menu soon. Sweet. All right, so maybe at the bottom down here, I'm gonna grab my rectangle, not my rectangle, my ellipse, draw one out. I want it fairly large so that people can see it. And usually fab menus are a nice actionable blue. I'm gonna dial this in just a little bit. That looks okay. Not bad. It kind of works. It's, it's, it's enough of a separation between the background that some people can see it. You could of course start experimenting with shadows and if you are adding shadows, don't do something like this. That's just, eh, don't do it. Where is that? Like the large, like, yeah. Yeah, this little guy here. Yeah, you don't want to do, I see people, especially beginner designers do like things like this because they want to add that mm -hmm. separation. Mm. Yeah, that's like the, the clearest giveaway of whether you're uh, just starting out or not, to be honest with you. Yeah. So. So now for the, the, the starting state of this fab menu, I want a plus button because I want to tell users that they can press on this or they can hold on it and it's going to add to something. And we're going to get into that something in, in a few moments. And there's two ways you can add a plus, I mean, there's a lot of ways you can add a plus button. One way you can just grab your text tool, type out a plus if you want to just keep it simple, right? Make it a little bit larger, move it into place and you've got a plus button. Now, one thing I want to keep in mind that when the fab menu is activated, it's going to turn into an X. So you could just rotate it just like that. Of course, if you want to get fancy with it in my States UI kit, which, where would I find that? I don't know, could be this one. I don't want to open anything I'm not supposed to open. So I, gotta, I had to think about that. But I have here some material States that I designed. And well, this is, this is more of a, actually this one down here. You can get fancy with it, and you can turn it into like different objects, right? Love it. I think I have Did another. Did you do two? It's basically two rectangles that then fold into a pencil. 
This one, how did I do this one? I don't even remember half of these things. I mean, things. you don't have to, but I, I mean, I love the motion. I think, it, actually, I think it's just two that kind of fade between each other. Huh. Yeah, and it's fast enough that you don't really notice it. Yeah. And then I think I have another add button, this one down here. That's just a simple one. And there's, yeah. this is basically what we're going to be creating. So it's a little fab menu. Is this a UI kit that you've made that's available out there yep. somewhere? Yep, letsxd.com slash states. And it's got cool. a ton of different states that you can use through your projects. Fun times. All right, so we've got this, we've got our plus button, we've got our background, and I'm gonna just keep things organized. So I'm gonna group them, command and control G, and this is gonna be called add. Let me hide all these. Perfect, all right. So we've got that in place, and now before we actually create the component, I want to create the additional icons. So you might want, let's say, to add a new post, maybe a new photo, maybe to e you might even want to, thank you Val, uh, access your drafts. Hmm. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna duplicate these. I'll just have, we'll do three of them, three additional ones. And then we need some icons. So I'm gonna go over to Nucleo. And the first one might be post. That's probably not, not the best search term. Um, right maybe possibly that looks that looks this one's fancy i'm gonna go with this one because it looks fancy mm -hmm. little like uh feather pen yeah a little quill type thing Quill, feather pen <laughs> <laughs> feather pen ah hey feather run pen. with it so that's that one i'm gonna make sure to add this one post and then this one's gonna be a camera Let's see. Oh gosh, there are so many cameras. Wow. This one looks better. But really like, oh yeah, that looks good. Yeah, has all the signs. That's it. Everything you need, rectangle. Yep. Oops. Circle, little divot, the top. Mm -hmm. And uh, Richard says edit. Oh, that, that could be a good search term probably. And I need one for drafts. What does drafts look like? Okay. I know drafts. on the Twitter, Twitter has drafts. I don't know if they have an icon for that though. They don't. It just has drafts. It probably has some I weird like drafts. Like a pencil there. with like dot dot dot. Oh, maybe. Because you're like dots, dot. Hmm. Pencil. It might be too similar to this one down here. Or uh -oh. what else can we put up here? If it's not drafts, what could it be? So you're adding a photo, you're adding a post. Yep. Oh, maybe video. if you're going live, like a oh, live stream. Yeah, live stream button. Stream, that should be, yeah, something like this. That could work, I'm in the wrong group. Go in that group, drag this in. Beautiful, all right. That works. Just alter this a little bit. It's a little bit smaller than the others, so I'm just gonna bump this up a touch. Beautiful. All right. Um, hey, Marissa, just so you know, you're not going crazy. We actually did not do chat and win. Do you hate us? <laughs> but you're not. You're, so there's plus a goods and bad to that. No, you're not going crazy. We could have ran with that and uh, tried to convince Marissa that she oh, is going crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, things are a little bit different this week, but um, chat and win will yeah. be back at some point. And honestly, if you've ever won chat and win, I want to know like if you made stickers. I'm into that. I know Jack Fulfillment. did. Fulfillment. Jack made Jack. a ton of donut stickers. That's fun. Yeah. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm kind of getting things ready to go for the component. So I made sure that the add button is on top of all the other ones. And I want the other icons to kind of be hiding underneath the add button. So what I can do is select them all inside of the layers panel and then use my lovely distribution options and alignment options at the top and I can just press boop and it's gonna hide them all. Now, you're probably gonna wonder and notice that they're not, they're not perfect. So I can just grab these, shift them into place a little bit and now that looks a little bit better. But of course, you know, it's, it's still not, I don't know, I wanna have a little bit of fun with this. And I don't think I did that in the States UI kit. So what we're gonna do, we are going to utilize masks again. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna grab my rectangle 
and I'm going to create a mask and a shape from the bottom up. And this is essentially going to be where the icons are going to land. They're going to land inside of this bubble, right? So just like we did before with the, the header text, like we did with the page indicators, I'm going to select all the elements underneath that mask, object mask with shape. And I should point out that if you are a Windows user, first of all, it's okay. Um, second of all, you would right click on any of the elements on your canvas and you'll be able to ask, access the mask with shape option. We have sticker, let's see. So Lindsay won chat and went twice, but wasn't stickers. Oh, she won the Moo, the gift code to Moo, and the other time won Illustrator Lapple Pin. That's fancy. Oh, wow, to get, that's awesome. Yeah, Steve did the stickers, nice. Yeah, of course, Jack did the donut stickers. Yeah, Sticker Mill's great. I love Sticker Mill. So mask with shape, it's gonna hide all that stuff. And now what I can do, I can name this fab, is I can, instead of worrying about hiding everything perfectly under that add button, I can just grab these additional icons and move them down. And to get a little bit fancy, we can also move them a little bit further out. So there's the camera, there's the post, move this down, move this even further down. That way when we do transition to the next state, things come into play quite nicely and they you know they, they come in at different speeds which is going to be nice and fun so our fab menu is more or less complete at least the initial state now we need to turn this into a component and of course there are there are multiple ways to activate this menu and the animation that's going to come you could have separate artboards for each one but you know you might as well use components that way everything can be done on a single artboard you can have multiple interactions from it so what we're gonna do is we have all of it selected, the entire mask, and we're gonna press the plus button beside component. Boop. And that's gonna create our default state. And you'll be able to see it inside of the layers panel or the assets panel over here to the left. And now again, the initial state is complete. So we'll want to create our new state. So I'm gonna press the plus button one more time, create the new state, and this will be called, you know what, before we do that, we may want, I'm gonna delete this. We may want a hover state. No, no, we don't want a hover state because this is mobile. Why would I say that? Yeah. I'm so, funny. I love hover states, but you gotta dial back into reality. Hover states with mobile don't really, not a thing. So forget that, I, no one heard anything. Um, this is going to be the expanded state. There we go. And now with that selected, I can go ahead and make changes. So I can dive in here to the mask and I can start grabbing these additional guys. I'll grab the post move that up we'll do about eight pixels possibly looks pretty good camera and what you're going to notice is that i didn't make the mask big enough so i could just grab this move this up a little bit or i can go to my default state and make the mask bigger and now there we go we have enough room now what i also want to do because you know when you press the add button you also want the ability to close this button. I'm going to double click on, I'm going to select the, the text and just rotate it. I'm going to hold down shift to rotate it 15 degrees and now I have an X. That looks pretty good. I might also want to get a little bit fancy with the background. Just dial that back just a touch. Just like that. So Richard's saying I'm definitely going to bookmark this stream to create a floating button with multiple buttons. So Richard, I have good news for you. If you go to I think it's on Let's XD actually. Let's find out. In the prototyping section, bam, right there, I have a video. It's like mm -hmm. probably three to five minutes long. Basically cuts out all this you and I yabbering away. You can watch the video. It's exactly what I'm showing right now. So you can do that. But you can also bookmark the stream. That's, that's cool too. All right, so we've got both states set up. Now there's one more thing I want, but let, let me go ahead and show you what this looks like before I get into the one more thing. So in prototype mode, we're going to select the add button. Now, what we've done in the past, at least up until this point in the stream, is we have grabbed this little blue handle and dragged it to another artboard. But we're not using two artboards in this case. We're actually using components and states. So in that case, to transition to an additional state, you'll want to simply click on the blue handle. And it's hard to see because the blue handle is on a blue button. But if you click on it, you get this little cute wire that kind of sprouts out from your component. 
And then you can choose in your properties inspector your destination. In this case, it's the expanded state. And you can also choose how you want that state to come into play. Of course, if you just wanted to transition to it, you can do that. But we do want auto animate. 0.8 seconds, probably a little bit too long for micro interaction. So maybe 0.4 seconds. Let's see what that looks like. And now, when we play, let me move this out of the way. And zoom in. Woo! There we go. It just kind of flies out. One more time. Woo! Fancy. Mm -hmm. Now we can also fancy. go, yeah, we can also go into state number two, the expanded state, grab the, the X button, and go back to state number one. So now we can go, whoop, 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 whoop. I can just do this all day. But there's one thing that I do want to add. Because when you're, when you're pressing something like this, you kind of want to focus only on the fab menu, right? So what, what we can do is I can go into state number two, which I believe I'm in right now. I am in state number two, the expanded state. And what's cool about XD is that you can add and remove elements. You can alter elements from your various states and overridden components. And in most cases, it does not affect the other states, which is fun. So what I can do is I can grab, dive in here, make sure I'm inside of the fab menu. I do not want to be inside of the mask. And you're going to understand why in a second, because the mask focuses on a very specific area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my rectangle, draw one out across this entire thing. And I might want to make sure to move it behind the fab menu. And now I can activate a background blur if I wanted to, make it nice and dark, possibly. I can maybe bring some of that color back. That might be a bit too much. I don't know. May also not work with the aesthetic. I can also just kind of dial this back a little bit. Well, that probably looks better. It's not as crazy. Right? What do you yeah. think? Yeah, Thoughts? I mean, I guess... Yeah, I'm just kind of thinking through it. It's like... Makes it look a little a little muddy. I like it. Mm, yeah, I mean, I like it like that. You like it lighter? We can try light. We can see what white looks like. Good. You can see what pink looks like. No, pink, no, that doesn't work. Hmm. White, and we can add a background blur, maybe. That looks good. I'm a big fan of background blurs, but sometimes they too. work, sometimes they don't work. I don't know. I like, I kind of, I don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah. I kind of, I kind of like the blur. Yeah, Christina's saying, yeah. how about a white blur? Corinne's saying white. Yeah, I mean, it, it works with the aesthetic, something like this, mm -hmm. possibly. Yeah. Anyways, the point of this is that now that I have it inside of the expanded state, when I play this, woo, look at that. Mm -hmm. And all this is done on a single artboard. So you don't have to add that white background blur to the initial state because mm -hmm. XD recognizes that it's it's a new object, so it'll just nicely fade it in. Raul is saying, no blur. Christina's saying, Too I late. like the blur, back off a little. Someone's saying dark mode users. I mean, we can get to dark mode soon. We did design this yesterday, which is kind of the dark mode version. And what's fun is I can grab this component, copy it, pop it over here, and then dive into this expanded state, make changes. So this is gonna be dark, so I can just dial that back. Something like that, right? Mm -hmm. And now I have, whoop, whoop, just with literally no effort. Yeah. I just grabbed the component, popped it on the dark mode version. Mm -hmm. I can go back to light mode version, and we've got this yeah. fancy little thing going on. Love it. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Ahmad saying maybe gray. Yeah. Maybe. maybe. Who knows? Looks great. We can to spend me. hours. You're doing fantastic. Thank you. Feel free if you have ideas or maybe you wanted to go a different route. Channel that energy into the creative challenge for today. Mm. Uh, have about thirty minutes before we review those. Oh, that's right. We are doing that. I should probably get a move on. <laughs> so we've got the fab menu done. Uh, Smith is our uh, fab close on blur right. Fab close on blur right. I don't know what that means. Clarify. Know. And uh, we'll take a look at that. Looks great on dark mode. 
That's sick. Yeah, isn't that cool? And it was so simple. It's all done on one artboard with a little object that you can use on any of your artboards. And what's nice is that if I do decide to make changes, this is the master fab right over here. That's a good name, master fab. Mm -hmm. I can just change, let's say the color, and you're gonna notice it's also gonna change on my other fab menu. So if I did wanna go for a pink to kind of match everything else, I can do that. Yeah. All right, so what else do we need to do? Let's hop back over to our notepad. We've done the fab menu. We've done an additional step. We've tweaked the onboarding flow. Maybe we've done sort of light mode already. I also wanna add a, a toggle at the top. I already have this toggle here, but if I wanted to switch between let's say light mode and dark mode, I can just whoop, tap. It's not gonna be a perfect transition because I think I did make some movement changes, so you might see things, some things kind of bounce around, but for the most part, and this is probably gonna change to a moon, but for the most part, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, mm -hmm. fab menu, close, light, dark, you get mm -hmm. the idea, fun stuff. All right, so I do wanna move on, I do wanna tackle a profile screen, because that's gonna be a lot of fun, and then maybe we'll revisit the navigation to create some components and transitions and things like that. So here we go. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna grab a new artboard. I'm not gonna use any of the elements from the previous one. I do wanna grab a new artboard and I'm going to select the iPhone 10s, same one as we did before. And let's start blocking things out. So maybe in the background, you know, let's, let's think through what a profile has. So usually it has some sort of a header image. It has maybe a profile photo, which we can kind of, yeah, we can probably incorporate it with the background image, we can, there's a lot of things we can do. A username, how many followers someone has, a follow button, maybe we'll get fancy mm -hmm. and animate that. Uh, it might have a section for posts and replies and likes and things like that. So let's start blocking some of that stuff out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a rectangle, draw one out across the entire artboard, and this is going to be for the background image. And for now, I'm just gonna leave it at a gray. I'm gonna start very simple with this and I want, kind of two sections on this. I want one section that focuses on the actual user. So again, the username, the followers, follow button. And yeah, Christina pointing out, fab equals floating action button. Indeed, it sure does. I didn't know that. You didn't know that. No. I mentioned it earlier. Again, you're not paying attention. I, <laughs> I, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. You've, been, you've been streaming for like four hours today. No, you're, I can't. We're, uh... we're good. <laughs> but I also don't like, I didn't know that was even called that at all. Um, and I don't have an Android, which I think it's cool yeah. that you have. You do have an Android device I and do. an iPhone. I like, I like using both. Just yeah. to kind of get a feel for both devices. Into platforms. It. All right, so I've got this lovely curvy box at the top, and this is going to be used for the user profile information. And then let me just change the color so we can see it. Well, that just made it worse. But what I want to do is also have a section down here for posts. So up here is going to be information about the user. We might also want maybe, let's say, a profile photo to be up here, just like that. We might add a little bit of a border on the inside. You probably can't see that right now. I'm doing a slow clap for Abdullah's comment. What did Abdullah say? I, I, the whole idea of like having a, uh, for dark mode, change uh, the moon icon from a sun to a moon. When yes, you're on the white, absolutely. It's a moon, so yep. that's, that's clever. Absolutely. Um, and I can probably do that very easily, but we may get back to that. I do want to tackle this profile. So we've got basically our sections kind of laid out and now we can start adding some images. So maybe the background image Let's find a nice colorful image. What looks good? That looks kind of fancy. I don't know what that is, but umbrellas. I this is just the header image? Yeah. I just have a folder of- like beautiful places. I know, I wish I could go to all of these places. Right. You've probably been what to some of them. That? Yeah, but I don't know, that street? Where is that street? I don't know. Ooh, those umbrellas. Where do they have those umbrellas? Ugh. Not a clue, but that's kind of cool. Ugh. Harrison's asking, what kind of IPA does Paul have there? Uh, Are you drinking on the set, Paul? an elevation IPA. <laughs> I wish. I switched from Phil's coffee, which you thought it was, to an IPA. Hmm. Do we do go for uh, good old Brad? No, let's let's switch things up a little bit. Let's go for let's go for her. Pop her in there. I can make her profile a little bit larger. I need a name for this. Actually, do I have? Did I put a name for her? Oh yeah, her name is Lindsay from yesterday. So we're gonna run with Lindsay. 
Now this section back here, we may want to kind of bring in some of the pink that we used before. So under the assets panel, I do have my pink. I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe let's see, ooh, background blur is kind of interesting. If I can bring in some of that pink just to have, look at that, not too bad. I don't love it, but let's go ahead and add some text. Hey Heidi, welcome, Heidi's in the house. Good to have you, oh, yeah. Heidi's in Heidi. the house. Good to have you here, Heidi. Yeah. Heidi has been many places as well, so she mm -hmm. probably know the answer to that. Looks like you went with the the, the bubbles, which is super cool. I did. Um, there's a place in Argentina that has the umbrellas over the street, but that actually has been popping up in various places mm. in like on small, you know, quaint streets. I think I saw it in, must have been like Mexico somewhere. I saw something like that, but anyways. Where is, is Lindsay in the, Lindsay's, oh, Palmer, there she is. This. This, I don't think Lindsay. this looks like Lindsay, but I'm running with Lindsay's chat names. actually, I think, Lindsay, aren't you in Colorado? Correct me if I'm wrong. I think you're in the mountains. Oh, fancy. So I'm using I'm using Rift Soft for this. I'm, I'm switching things up a little bit. I've been using Sophia Pro for everything else, but I think for the profile, I want to switch things up just a touch. And since a lot of the application is wavy lines and, you know, fun little micro interactions, I'm using the Rift Soft typeface, Love it. which is a little bit, I mean, Paul's a big fan of typefaces. Mm -hmm. So, I just keep kicking my microphone. Um, you I let me like know if it. this if this works, if it doesn't work. Uh, you know, I think rounded fonts are tough, but I think that's a, like a really good rounded font because it just has an idea of softness and playfulness. Yeah. I think even for this stream, stream as a whole composite like works, looks great. Yeah, so Lindsay's not, she's in Missouri. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Or, no, I'm not sorry you're in Missouri. I'm just sorry I got it wrong. <laughs> I'm so sorry you're in Missouri. Just kidding. I'm now, Missouri. one thing I want to point out about this spe specific typeface is it's only capital letters. It's only uppercase. So even though I have this off and I did not type in uppercase with the yeah. caps lock key, so you get headers. So for the for the bottom, if I were to type in, like, let's say New York. Actually, well, she's in Missouri, so I'm going to run that. Missouri. Yeah. Uh, Missouri is where? M-O? Yeah, I don't know. I think so. Possibly. Designer. I don't know where. Missouri's somewhere in the United States. That's all I know. I'm a terrible person. So yeah, you probably don't want to use this typeface here as well, because then it starts to overload your design. So in that case, I am going to dive back to Sophia Pro. Missouri is... Yeah, Emma, we got it right. Yes. I'm Canadian, so that I get a pass <laughs> for that. And I'm also gonna drop the weight a touch. Let's go back to medium, possibly. And then maybe just a little bit. Oh yeah. We can also use Loving blend it. modes. Hmm. See, this may be tough. Yeah, it starts to dis disappear a little bit more, but man, yeah. it looks good. Overlay, ooh, your, okay. Yeah, your intuition's right. Make it make it thinner and push it back. Yeah. Smaller, thinner, a little like bit. stuff. You gotta, you gotta mess around with this. You also have to keep accessibility in mind, right? What are people saying? Missouri is a state. Yes. Yeah, we know that. That's just funny. <laughs> oh, did I did I get something wrong? I don't think you did. I wouldn't worry about it. No, I think I did. I don't know, Lena. No, Missouri is a state, so that wouldn't make sense. Oh yeah, that, oh yeah, that totally doesn't make sense. I thought you were just kind of doing that as a place. So to what, Montana? So uh, yeah, if you could, Lindsay, give us your exact address. <laughs> oh, no. oh, yeah, stream. I'm wrong. Okay. Just joking. What's St. Louis? St. Louis? St. Louis? Oh, yeah. okay. St. Do you spell it out? Oh. I'm a terrible person who lives in this country. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, usually we don't, I don't usually see it spelled out, like, oh, spelled no, okay. out like that, but you could do that. If Someone's going to gonna share this on Twitter and I'm going to be canceled. There you go. That's good. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Kansas gonna... City would have been easier. Thank That's you. <laughs> hey, at least um, at least I know that Kansas City is not in Kansas. Yeah. Mm. So I have that going for me. Yeah. Um, I am going to sprinkle in some of the Rift Soft throughout the design, just very briefly, just subtly. So like, if you want to highlight how many followers or posts someone has, mm. I'm going to just kind of combine these. The camera's not happy with me again. Camera's like, what? 293 posts. It's like freaking out. And obviously that will that could be a clickable button to go to and see. It could be. Uh, yeah. It certainly could be. So we've got that. I'm gonna group these. I'm gonna 
call this post. Spell it correctly. Oh, thank you. Lindsay's correcting us and everyone because actually there's actually one. There's a Kansas City, Kansas, and a Kansas City, Missouri. Oh, boy. This is too confusing. Oh, wait. Uh, Kansas City is in Kansas. Well, we know it's in Kansas and in Missouri. Yeah, I get it, but it's known as Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, but there is only one, hopefully. But anyways, continue. I don't know. My, mind is is, my mind hurts now. We don't, we don't do two things around here typically. It's <laughs> geography and math. Yeah. <laughs> At least I don't do like maths. What's the maths? This is looking, we, we do design here as well, which is, is looking, it's looking tight into it. Thank you. And I'm just, if you see me looking at my phone, it's just cause I'm, I'm kind of seeing what else. Followers, likes, posts. Probably don't want to go too many. Yeah, that's good. Keep Looks it great. simple. Just something like that. And then probably right below, we can work on the spacing after, but right below we might want a follow button, which is always fun, always necessary for a profile. And in this case, this is gonna be somebody else's profile, not your profile. There obviously wouldn't be a, um, you know, a follow button on your profile when you're viewing it. So I'm gonna just drag in a button like this. We're gonna round out those corners since that's the aesthetic we're going for. Beautiful. I'm gonna keep it white. I like how you have, yeah, that, no, that makes sense. This is and good. follow. Can't see it. Let's choose a pink. No, that's not gonna work. Well, maybe. Uh, uh, Aiken is asking, is Toronto in Canada? Canada, is that right? Yes, he's Toronto is in. Is he a, messing with me? I, yeah, I think he's like trolling you a little bit. You know what's great? I had a, I had a call with somebody in our, our Toronto office yesterday and their the room that they were in is called sorry i thought that was wonderful no, that is, that is whoever great. thought of that needs a needs mm -hmm. a raise now hmm hmm what are you thinking about so i'm you know i pulled in that pink that we've been using throughout some of this project from the assets panel to use for the follow button that leads the text but it's not it kind of, it, it doesn't look right against the background. So what I might do, that looks, I mean, it's very subtle. You see the difference? It's super subtle, but it blends a little bit nicer. It's very you difficult to the, see. Them. You changing the color of the button? Yeah, the, the text. Gray? Oh, the text. So this here is the pink mm -hmm. that we've been using, but it doesn't really match anything else behind it. And then we have, I just sampled one of the colors here. And that looks a little bit better. Yeah, I'm gonna run with it. We'll see. Yeah. It does, it looks like it's kind of like knocked out. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, I think it looks good. All right, so we've got our button looking pretty good. I do want to, very similar to what we did yesterday, I wanna turn this into a component. And I'm gonna call this profile button. And of course I could have used the button that we created yesterday and made an additional state to use that, but this button is different enough that I'm gonna turn it into a separate component and then turn padding on. So if I did decide to, do I wanna do? Yeah, so Richard, you're on the same page. We get it. Create a state, yeah, totally. Now I'm just thinking, do I wanna turn, cause I wanna get a little bit fun with this. So basically when the button is pressed, I want an animation to take place. So would padding make sense? It probably would not in this case. So case, case by case basis, in most cases it would make sense, but we're gonna have some fun with this before we move on. I'm gonna go back to Nucleo. I'm gonna find a user icon. We have used this one before. This one's not bad. I'm gonna drag this one in. I love the idea. So there's gonna be some animation with this. There might be. There Let's might see be. how things go. Ooh, I'm gonna turn responsive resize off so his head doesn't get squished. His head is still getting squished. That's that's there the oh, yeah, that's, that's what good. happens when you work with paths. Sometimes they get squished. Choose this, and I may want a little bit of a check mark. Of course, I can make my own check mark, but I want to make sure I don't. Uh... Like if you at once you follow them. Yeah. Oh look, this one already has it. Ooh. And shouldn't it say following? It could. Or it could, I guess. Yeah. It could. This one already has it, fancy, okay. 
So, I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna make sure to sample our lovely color here. Now, I don't want this to be displayed immediately. So what I'm gonna do, we've been using a lot of masks throughout this process, but we're gonna use some masks again. So I'm gonna move this off of this. Yeah. I'm going to, you know what, I had to make sure that this is inside of the component. Now it is. I'm gonna duplicate the background layer. Let's go Command or Control D. Make sure it's at the very top of the layer stack inside of that component. And just like we've done a million times before this stream and yesterday, I'm gonna mask with shape, which is essentially going to hide anything outside of that shape, which in this case is our lovely little friend with the check mark. So he's gone. And now we need to create an additional state for the animation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the plus button in the component section within the properties inspector press new state. This will be following. There we go. And now we can start making changes to this. So the first thing I want to do is grab the background layer, make this. I can also grab the background layer and the mask, make it smaller. And I want to make it you know, about the size of a circle. Right about there. I want to grab the follow. Oh, I grabbed all of it. I want to just grab these two. There we go. Drag this in to about the size of a circle. That looks pretty good right there. Grab the follow text. I'm going to move that out and grab the little guy with the check mark and pop him into place. Beautiful. All right. So, with that done, it's time to activate it. And to do that, I'm going to hop into prototype mode. Single click on the blue handle. Whoops, I missed it. There we go. I wanna make sure tap is the trigger and we're gonna go for an auto animate. We're gonna choose the new state that we created, which is the following state. And ease in and out is probably pretty good with a duration of 0.4 seconds. And then from the following state, if you decide to unfollow the person and very similar to I mean, exactly what Paul said, we could also have the text change to following possibly, but we're gonna run with this because it's fun. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna go back to the default state. So now- I like that it's low prof, it's like out of the way. I yeah. like how it's just out of the way once yeah. you click on it. So now, whoop, whoop. Love it. Just, whoop. just enjoy whoop. this. Let's just enjoy it for a little bit. Isn't that fun? Because it's so nice. Masks are amazing, Lena. I agree. Mm. Very simple. All right, so let's let's try a different Good. image of the top. Lindsay Palmer from St. Louis, Missouri, as we decided. <laughs> no umbrellas. I don't know. Umbrellas it's fine. fine. It's fine. I like the. What does this look like? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna run with that. And now down below here, we may want an area to display, uh, let's say posts, maybe photos, maybe past live streams and things like that. Thank you, Val. Thank you, Igor. Thank you, Raul. Everyone seems to be liking this. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do down at the bottom, I probably should also organize some of this, but we'll get to that. I'm going to type out, let's say posts. And these will basically be, Twitter has something like this, where if you're on a profile, you can choose what specific posts of that user you're, you're kind of browsing. Make this a little bit smaller. This will be the active section. And then maybe to the right, whoops, to the right we'll have, let's say, photos. This one will not be active, so I'm gonna drop this down to medium, maybe even regular, just to really let people know that this is not the section you're on. And maybe drop the opacity just a little bit. And then we might have a live section. Great. Make sure all these are distributed really nicely. And then to really emphasize that we are currently on the post section, we may want to also add some sort of a line right underneath, just like this. And here we can bring in our pink. Beautiful. Make this a little bit larger, maybe three. And we could round out the caps right over here. Boop. And I want to make sure, yep, that looks pretty good if it does transition over there. Good. All right. That looks okay. I'm going to group all these together. Group. And this will be filters, possibly. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so now there's a few things we can do. We can, of course, use multiple artboards to transition between your posts. 
your photos in your live streams, but we can also use components and states to get a little bit fancy. So what I'm gonna do just to save some time, I'm going to grab, I'm gonna grab this, this repeat grid, pop it over here. Now, of course, this is only Lindsay's post, so I'm gonna find Lindsay's face, or at least the person we're associate or mm -hmm. designating Lindsay, pop her into these. I don't know why she would be talking about conditioner, <laughs> but you know what? We're going to you we're going to just pretend. Idea. Just use your imagination. Lindsay, tell us tell us uh, some really specific things about yourself that nobody else knows. No, just joking. Not that <laughs> last part. Tell us about your most embarrassing moment that you tweeted out. No, don't do that either. Yeah. So just just pretend. Use your imagination that all these posts are a little bit different, right? Why not? Yeah, exactly. Why not? I want to know if Lindsay actually does have like a Twitter and we'll just like add her actual. Like, That's true. We tweets. can just put her tweets in there. Hopefully they're not embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. In which um, case you probably shouldn't have tweeted in the first place. But. So we'll grab a photo too. And we'll move this over here to the right. Now it's going to pop onto the artboard, onto the pasteboard, but we'll fix that in a second. And we'll probably just do uh, posts and photos. We won't do live right now. And I lost the name. Oh, I see. I see what I did. Make sure to grab all this, copy, paste. Move this over. And we're gonna pop Lindsay's photo in there. Beautiful. I'm just gonna group this. Photos. Maybe I'll have one more going down. Just like this, we'll grab one more photo. We'll gra let's go for this one here. Perfect. I'm gonna keep again. I'm gonna keep the the text the same because we're running out of time. But we're gonna run with this. So now, what I need to make sure to do because this did pop onto the pasteboard, is Akin is saying no. Actually, the confusion is Toronto Raptors is a team in the NBA, right? I don't know. I don't know either. So I'm going to grab they, the... They talk about sports. Yeah. They're losing me with the sports. <laughs> what gonna, are the Toronto Raptors? What basketball are they, what, team. Oh, I should yeah. know that. We actually won the uh, the championship. Oh, last that's year. right. That's right. And I really like basketball. Mm. Lindsay's asking, did anyone else vote today? Go vote. Wait, aren't you like a week off? No, there's 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 another round of voting oh. primaries today, I think. Okay. There's cool. the big one last week. That was here, right? Yeah. Mm. And a bunch of other places. Okay, so I've got the text post selected. I also want to make sure to select the photos post and group all of these together. That'll bring those photo posts that were on the pasteboard back onto the artboard that also contain the photos or the text post. I'm just going to name this post. So now that all of this is into place, we can start creating a component and transition between posts and photos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the posts here and I'm also going to select the filters. So I'm going to press hold shift and click on both of those, turn all of this into a component, command and control K, boop. And now I can create, let me make sure to name this, posts. Thanks for dropping by Lamia and for being so respectful. We appreciate you as well. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Thanks so much. Now I'm going to create one more state and this is going to be photos. Thank you, Cornelian. Now for this one, because I have photos selected, we can start making some changes. So I'm going to move the indicator over to the right under photos. And of course, if we want to get fancy and we had some more time, I would probably do the same trick I did with the dot indicators on this one. So we can get a little bit longer and then shrink down a touch. But we are running out of time. Time is moving fast, Paul. It is. We might have time to jump in and get into your stuff later. Possibly. Depending on the... There we go, and I'm gonna grab this, shift this over, so we have the photos into play. Beautiful, and that is is it. That's it, right? There we go, all right. So we've got our photos, we've got our default state, and now we can wire them up. So if someone taps on photos, I'm gonna click, I'm gonna choose the photos state, I'm gonna go to the photos state, choose posts, click default state. And now, whoop, 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 all from a single artboard. Mm -hmm. Now there's one more thing we want, we might want to do before we dive into 
portfolio reviews or challenge reviews is we may want to make sure that this section down here can be dragged up the artboard. Now for that, at least at the moment, you need two separate artboards to activate a drag trigger. Maybe at some point in the future, we may build that into components, we may introduce some other things that may help with that, who knows? But for now, you do need two artboards. Not the biggest deal, because we have already consolidated a ton of space by using states and components on the animations and the uh, filters at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure to select that entire component. I'm also gonna select that background layer and group those, and that's gonna call posts. I wanna make sure that this is at the top of the layer stack. That way when it is dragged up, it, you know, it does its thing, right? So I'm gonna do that. I'm going to duplicate the artboard, Command and Control D, and then move this up. So we're right about there. And I may just add a little bit of a parallax effect. I may also grab some of this stuff in the background. Let me hide this for now. I should have probably also grouped all this stuff, but for now, I'm just, oops, I'm just gonna move this up just a tiny bit, just like that. Beautiful, all right. And now with that done, we can create a drag trigger. So I'm gonna select the entire group of posts. I'm gonna drag the handle. Now it is all the way over here to the right. That's because there are some elements that are kind of popping off the artboard. So just keep that in mind if you have you know, very large groups. I'm gonna drag this to this artboard here, the second one. I'm gonna make sure this time to choose the drag trigger. And there we go. And I can also choose this group here and drag back to the first. So, here we go. Oops, let me start on the first artboard. I can drag this up to view more of the posts, and you're noticing that the elements in the background are also very subtly moving up. And what's cool is because I have a component on this artboard, I can also, even after, oh, I don't have a, a thing set up for that one, but I can also just do that. I can drag this back down. I can also, let me see what I did wrong with that one. Let me go to photos, let me go to the posts, and let's see what I did. Auto animate, I did something wrong with this one. Let's see, what did I do wrong? Someone in the chat's probably screaming at their oh auto God. animate photos. Everything you know, smart, I have, beautiful. We'll have to figure that one out. A delay, but yeah. Yeah, we're down to less than four minutes. Before. There we go. We can just do that. We can have some fun. Now we can also grab the navigation bar from this screen here, which at some point I should probably turn into a component and do a few fun stuff with that. But I can also pop it on this artboard, make sure that it's fixed into place. It looks like it is. And now everything kind of comes together. Mm, look at that. Fancy. Perfect. All right. Yeah. Very so, cool. shall we uh, shall we dive into challenge reviews? Yeah, we can. There's a question yep. from Jeff that you want to. Oh, let's see. Point. Jeff says, any way to sort of lock your post layer to the front so it's always in front? I would love to have the feature for say my headers in my own prototypes. Oh, oh, I see. So it's always so it's always in the front of, or at the top of the layer stack. Is that what you're talking about? In that case. Um, no, you'll just have to, at least, at least at the moment, you'll have to manually make sure to move it back to the top of the layer stack. Of course, you can fix it into place so that if, you know, if you're scrolling, that sort of thing, that might be what you're talking about. And that's kind of what I did on, on this artboard here, where I have the header and the navigation bar fixed onto the artboard. I'm not sure if that's what you're talking about or... Yeah, so, so okay. So if you add more layers, they don't automatically go above the posts. Yeah, at the moment, I don't believe that works unless you're adding something inside of an existing group mask or component. So I suppose, now that I'm thinking this through, what you could potentially do, right, if you wanted to, if you, let's say you wanted this navigation bar always to remain at the top, what you could do is put everything else inside of a group. Let's call this hello for now. And then if you're inside of the group and you add, a, add a, an element, it's always gonna go behind the navigation bar. So that's, I mean, that's one thing you could do for now. We don't specifically have that lock to top option at the moment, but that's a workaround, possibly. I don't know. Yeah. It might work. 
seems to work. But yeah, I would love a fit, a, like a locked top option as well, but try that in the meantime. Okay. But I know that's something a lot of users are requesting. Yeah, sounds good. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Howard. We'll shift gears. Still got a couple of minutes to get a design in if you're game, but I'm switching screens. As you can see right here, just go to this challenge tab. Uh, today is all about uh, designing the browsing and purchasing experience for an e-commerce shop. Fancy. So, use overlays, create some confirmation dialogues, things like that. So uh, there is a starter file, just so you know, you click right there, you'll see it right here, just mm -hmm. kind of get familiar. There's all these various, um, you know, again, a recap of the uh, challenges. I really like how this is laid out, by the way. This is nice. Like I think little... um, it, I don't, I th I'm pretty sure Andrea started that. Oh, really? I think so, I'm pretty sure it was her. And then I think I ran with it, and then mm. everyone else has been running with it. And then Andrea just took things up a whole new level, and her recent templates are just incredible. I may steal those as well. Oh, really? Yeah, they, <laughs> she, she makes good stuff. Andrea is a fantastic designer. That's that's really cool too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, let's kind of take a look right in here. Again, you could find it really here in this creative challenge. Everything I just said, kind of find that starter file. We're gonna jump into current challenge. Again, this is a little bit more complex than some of the Photoshop stuff where you just submit it. Sure. Up uh, an image. This is like honestly links to Behance. We'll start with Dorji. Dorji, um, yeah. Oh, the, here's what I made for day five, which we didn't even review any of these for day five. So I'm glad we're reviewing some of right. these as well. Uh, if I recall, actually day five, and we'll just go up one, uh, is designing a chat experience for mobile devices. Okay. So that's what's happening. Yeah, let's just go through there. as many as we can. We got, we got time. Is that right, chat? I think you, yeah, I think you downloaded it. And I downloaded it. It's mine now. All right, Dorji, XD Daily Creative Challenge. Yeah, let's take a look at it. All right, so this is... This is actually multiple two i'm trying mm. to figure out which one's which oh some of them have little captions at the bottom okay day four yeah. okay let's scroll up day three day oh so sorry so sorry ah uh, gosh click accidentally clicked there and now i'm on to somebody else i click the uh, x, x on the top right yeah okay so let's go to let's go to the bottom that should give us five day five challenge of chat uh, design a chat experience. I think mm. if I click on this, it's we're gonna see everything smaller. But I like this feel good. Uh, oh, others in case there's more than one of you. Okay, that's like good. A split personality, others. Or if you identify as something other than male or female. Yeah, but it's funny that it's plural because there's like oh, yeah. more than one other type of. <laughs> I don't the know. the big <laughs> thing that I'll I'll say about this hmm. and. This, this could, I'm just trying to think this through. This, it seems like this is an application for, like a feel good application for if you're feeling depressed, um, anxious, angry. And in my opinion, and I think, I'm not, you know, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a psychologist, but I am a designer. Um, in my opinion, you do not want to use red for things like this because red instills anger. And if you're somebody who is feeling angry, feeling depressed, I don't think you want to be staring at a red screen. Because that could make the... I understand why the red was created and used. Mm -hmm. I think that could make things worse. That's just my opinion. Okay. Um, I could be wrong, but that, that that's kind of where I'm, what I'm feeling. Yeah. So you'd be feeling anxious. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Uh, how are you feeling? Check in one of these. Um, yeah, and I like this. I also like, I've also seen it done where it's done with like emojis. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Might be kind of interesting. But yep. um, yeah, so this is a ch the chat experience. Hey, how you doing? Got this. Okay. Yeah. I would also just um, change the, the text on the red bubbles to just a plain white, pure white. Yeah. Yeah, because this, this is definitely breaking up. It's the compression on the JPEG, but it's not going to be easy to read. Yeah. Um, you know, and I, what do you, what's your opinion on the font size? Look pretty good. It's not bad. I would, you, you can probably bump it up one or two mm -hmm. pixels, points, whatever you're using. Okay. 
Yeah, cool. but overall, not bad. Someone did point out the green on the red logo at the top. Yeah, that was hard to see. Is it vibrating? It's it's kind of popping a little bit. Yeah, it might, might be vibrating a little bit. Yeah. But all in all, good for like a, a day's work. Yeah, uh, totally. The instincts are there, very clean. Yep. Like this is totally, you can tell they're very good at designing. Yep. Um, you know, and we can... Uh, the hero section for a fictional startup site. So yeah, okay. this is all very clean. This all looks like really good. It's got some donuts in there, which is mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, can never go wrong. I love I love this, just using these white outlines again. We Yesterday you talked about like, with a heart, you can make it red. Right. And, and here's a case where it obviously isn't. Right. But still looks good, yeah? Yep, I agree. Fantastic. Yay. This is just, I love the use of images. Mm -hmm. we're, we're kind of running into the same red on green problem over over to the left where the button is. Yeah, a little vibration. Yeah, you could go with a white button For possibly. For sure, it but looks yeah. it it looks like there's like some sort of I don't know outline or drop shadow. I don't know, but it's like it's doing something. Funny. It may be the compression on because of the red and green separation. Possibly, it's hard yeah. to tell. And you're, you're, I get it, you're trying to, you know, keep everything left justified. Honestly, I would move this in and I would center it within this space. I think it would actually be fun just for this design. It's like, it's okay to cheat the the F underneath and just kind of mm -hmm. crowd her a little bit more. It's totally fine. But yeah, yep. great job. We're just kind of talking through your whole, <laughs> daily, all your creative daily challenges, yeah. which I'm into, you know? This yep. again is very clean style and that's why I love it. You know, totally. that's what this needs. If you're creating like a news story feed, yeah, keep it keep it clean. Mm -hmm. I even like the use of uh, serif font, even though serif is not having a day. <laughs> people don't really like serifs these days. No, nope. but I think for news sources, yeah, it's very know? traditional. Yeah, exactly. So current challenge, great job. That's kind of what we reviewed. Uh, here's a screen recording. Actually, let's go into this. So it's pretty much all the screens. Yeah, connected. You get the idea. Cool. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Let's move on up. Uh, this was day five as well. Rashid. I believe Rashid was in the chat yesterday. Is she in here today? I haven't seen her. But she was here yesterday. Nice and clean. Is, yeah, like very that. good. Ooh, look at the cute little puppy. It's the hero image. Very okay. cool. Yep. Oh, I love this. I love the... I love just adding that stuff. That's right? cute. Ah, adorable. Ooh, and I'm just thinking ah, things. Look at this. Yes, I was, just, I was just noticing that and thinking about the next update when anchor links are available, you can use things like that to mm -hmm. fix it to your artboard and then have that link to somewhere else further down your page. Ooh, yeah. anchor links. So I believe, it. you know, I, I would imagine Rashid is going to revisit this at some point and wire up some anchor links. Yeah, yeah. That'd be, that's, and that's just a great idea in general. Like, I know you're doing design challenges and it's gonna be quick, everything's happening each day. Like, see what, I, what which one of those you can extend further into its own portfolio too, yeah, right? Yeah, totally. There's Rashid. All right, Ooh. so here's design, re the recipe list for a cooking app. You know, this is feeling really nice. I like the way it pops off the side of the artboard. It's a nice pre presentation style. And the the rounded elements, the rounded buttons or options, whatever you want to call them mm -hmm. at the top, yeah. those are so difficult to work with. But I think she she's nailed it. Yeah. I think that works. How's, how is she with the, the drop shadows then? You approve? I do. They're very subtle. They're yep. very calming. I think if, if she would have gone, I, th I believe it's a, a female. If, if I'm wrong, please correct me. If Rashid would have gone with harsh drop shadows on that section, it would have completely ruined the entire thing. Exactly. And it looks like, could be wrong, that she didn't use black, but it's a, it has a slight blue tint to it. It does look like it. And those little things, well played. Yeah. Into Nicely it. done. Good. And you didn't, yeah, this is great, huh? It's a great design. I'm into it. All right, let's get out of there. Actually, that's probably a video of the whole experience. Let's go I'm a little a he. Oh, I'm sorry. He, I apologize. He did a great job. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> that's nice. I'm going to play it again. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, oh there's the exploding heart. Ah, uh, love it. Ah. Uh, oh, he even got fancy with the cursor animation. Yeah, is that what happened? Man. Whoop. 
<laughs> Love every well even done. the camera's excited about it. <laughs> this is great. What is the um what is the effect called when you go past your is that that is that actually one of the settings? Is it rubber band? The snap? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably a snap. Snap is yep. the term. Okay. <sighs> Yeah, I could watch this all day. Look at this is the stuff you would do, Howard. Like the, just the number of elements that start floating in. Yeah, this is very. Zoop. It's very nice. You can tell he paid a lot of attention mm -hmm. to the way things kind of came in and settled into place. Yeah. Very nicely done. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Great job. This is fantastic. Uh, different kind of remembering app. Here we go into the chat. This is actually what we actually need to review. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. A little onboarding experience. Maybe you picked Ooh, up some Chara, awesome. Chara, that's a fun name. Yeah. You know it's not copyrighted. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there's an option here, to skip at the top. Here, here's an idea, yep. like for this logo, you might be able to pull it off. Could you take a, a speaking bubble and make that bubble look like the beak? You see what Ooh, I'm saying? Ooh, I do. Like it's a it's a speaking bubble, but it's it's really its beak. And this black, that's what it is. Just a thought to think about. I like that. All right, so chat with your buddy, onboarding, yeah, yeah. like you're saying, breaking the border, like you mm -hmm. do, like very good. Yeah chat in a flock I uh, love that copywriting is better than me so good um, yeah some calming blue this yep. really pops I can I can read it yeah could probably bump it up one or two pixels but mm -hmm. I mean nothing you don't want to go too crazy yeah yeah very good nicely done yeah so impressed Wow just wow I'm following you so Rashid Jeez. said, I did that for the logo Arks. at the top. So they, he may have done that. The little speech Ooh. bubble thing. Let did we miss see. that? Where's the logo at the top? Oh, right here. Oh. oh there we go. Ah. Ha. Slow clap. Softly. Well done. Maybe over here. Where am I? I'm not in front of my mic. So good. Ah, oh, I want to hire you. I want to hire you to teach me. <laughs> this is really good. So yeah, awesome. Let's kind of move on. We're just kind of scrolling through some of these. Yep. And uh, yeah, we're checking the time as well. So what time we got? So what about uh, 13 minutes. Oh, good. Uh, let's go back. So let's move this out of the way. Zoop. Scrolling up. Uh, this is also day five. So this is about. Uh, chat app. And let me, I apologize, let me check their name. Nikesh. The best way to chat with your cats. Well, I'm not chatting with it any cats. It could be cats. like, cat chat. Oh, I'm so glad you went with cat chat cat. I just like <laughs> it. Chat cat or cat chat, perfect. Yeah. Uh, this is what needs to happen. <laughs> well, I don't know. Hold on, let's see. Fast so and I, secure messaging. I love the, I love the screen on the left. I think the screen on the right, for the most part, I love. The only thing that really is standing out to me are the elements at the very top, where it's the username is up there, there's the little dots, and then the back icon. It's way too close to the top. Oh. Just move it down a little bit. Okay, give it some more breathing room. Yep. Cool. I think it would if you could pull it off, could these little chat icons, this might be too designery, like little ears... I don't oh, know. I suppose. Like, yeah. if you, I don't know. I don't know. If you're like, I don't understand which. It's like everybody's chatting in a group, like about their cats, uh, right? Okay, so oh, it's just okay. chatting with your friends. Okay, why would you just get the best chatting experience with friends? Brilliant me thought that this application was a way to chat with your cats, which I was all for. I was. That's what I thought too. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> why don't we have this today? I don't even uh, care if it's really my cat talking back. But yeah, you know. And if that was the case, I would have these as two little ears. Would I would cute. have mine be a little shit, and then there's ears. Yeah, someone needs to create that, a bot that acts like a cat. You just yeah. talk with it all day. <laughs> Michael Crabtree is in the house. What's up, Michael? Good to see you, buddy. Michael, I almost spilled water on Paul's desk yesterday. You'll be uh, happy to hear that. I didn't, so. 
He didn't. Michael did. That's a, the, that's oh did he did that happen to him? He did. He, he was at a, a that's every time I see him I bring that up. He was in Aww. San Francisco. He was sitting beside me. We were about oh. to go live, and uh, he Spelled reached it. for something. Yeah. Honestly, on those on most desks needs to just be like water bottles that just. Water I'm surprised that desk doesn't have built-in cup holders. That'd be cool. That would be, that yeah. would be pretty neat. I would need like four for the amount of fills that I have there. I remember one stream you were on. I was watching and you had like four cups or three cups of coffee yeah, right beside right. you. I bring in a lot. I try to give them away. I try to get other people hooked. And then ha whoever doesn't drink them, I end up drinking like four co cups yeah. of coffee. Fantastic. Cool. Good stuff. All right. Uh, here we have, uh, well, this is day four challenge, so we're really kind of going, actually, no, this is still today, though. They did, this did get submitted. Mm -hmm. This is the day four where you're creating a hero image. Hmm. All right, I like, I like the shapes. Up. Yeah. Those are fun. Yeah. Yeah, good job. Yeah. Breaking the border there. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Thumbs up. That even looks like a thumb, like this one. Oh, it does. I see it. it. Took me a while. <laughs> Fingers. Yep. Oh yeah. Look at this. Oh, let me see their name. Boom, boom. This is. Oh, Cornelian. Cornelian. He's in here. Is he still here? Possibly. He might be here somewhere. Nice presentation. Mm hmm. Huh? Very nice. Oh. Oh, it's moving. Look at that. Wait, how's this done? I think it's probably a GIF. I'm assuming. Yeah. Great job. Oh, it's a oh, video. video. Okay. Scroll down. Ah, oh, well played though, because it looked like a still image. Yeah. That's gonna. That's definitely grab grab your attention. This is really nice too. Let's kind of click into this one. Yeah, it's very soothing. Yeah. I love the the light, the grays. I want this phone. I want a phone that's white on white on white on white. Yeah. I want everything white. Mm-hmm. Cool. This is nice. I don't have much feedback. There could be a little tiny more breathing room at the top. Just a little bit under that notch. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to extend that header section just to make sure that things breathe. I like the use of the, the white on light, light gray. Yeah. Which is very nice. Yeah, it, that it's really cr tricky because it reminds me of that pneumorphism trend that's going around. Yeah. And the white on the gray with the, the gray shadows, you got to be careful. I think it works in this situation because there's enough of a contrast because there's a little bit of a shadow on the gray background, but you do have to be careful. You know, run it through Stark <clears throat> or accessibility uh, plugins. Just make sure that it's going to be uh, <clears throat> visible. I can't, I'm losing my voice. Oh, man. Yeah, there it goes. Just in, just in time. Well, and it's gone. <laughs> yeah. Um,. Yeah, so this is this is cool. You're right, and honestly, at the end of the day, you just gotta have this stuff easier to read. I'd almost invert this because, like, which is more important? You kind of want to know the person. Mm. At, you know, honestly, we were already chatting with them, and you recognize them by the the icon. You don't need to read the name. I would right. make this text darker and this like lighter. You know what's interesting now that you say that? I'm just think I think it's um, it could be Facebook possibly, but what they do is they if you have not read a message, they mm -hmm. bold the actual message, and if you've oh. read it, it's not bold. Yeah. So there, there could be some user testing involved and something like that. But I, I agree. Whether whatever direction you take with it, mm -hmm. it needs to be a little bit more legible. Great job. Good yeah. legibility. All the stuff. I'd probably ease up on that gradient, but that's being super picky. Yeah. That on on the very far right with the the little letters. Mm -hmm. That could be another example of oh. how you can use anchor points in coming oh, yeah. in the March update. Oh. Mm hmm. Anchor points in the March. Indeed. When is that? When is the March update? March. <laughs> All right, fine. Nice then. try. <laughs> in March, <laughs> like, follow, stalking. Great stuff. I want that phone. We've got six minutes left. Plenty of time. We're just gonna sit here. Let's take a look at one more, and then we'll hop back over to me and just uh, wrap things up. Ooh. There, it, this is just an image, but still cool. Yeah. I can see that as like header image for a project. Totally. I love that perspective. Uh, so yeah, this is... 
This is, oh, for today's challenge. Okay, Ooh. this is good. This will be the last one where we review. It's a lot of color. It looks like they pulled maybe some, some of the color from what I was designing yesterday. Oh, Possibly. totally. Look at this. Mm. Yeah, this is looking familiar. Mm. Okay, Jasmine is app. asking, what else is coming in the March update? That I cannot tell you. We may or may not have an additional surprise or two. Mm. I'm okay with it. Used co component states for hovering on the icons. Oh, okay. So this brings up what we were talking about earlier. Yeah. Hover on mobile is just not a thing. Um, and require, usually if you do have a hover state on a mobile device, you have to tap once and then tap again. Mm -hmm. So you probably just want to avoid that completely. I like the idea of using borders to separate mm -hmm. the two people, but I would say those two colors are probably a little bit similar. If you notice on chat applications, the, the two parties are very, they're like a blue and a gray or a blue and a green. So mm -hmm. try to kind of push that around the spectrum a little bit. So it's maybe a purple and a gray or a... And yeah, exactly. And actually what I would do is I would say, hey, you know what? They're up here at the top. There's pink up here. Make them pink. You're there, you're here at the bottom, blue. I would make this blue button. Mm. Maybe this is blue, but basically it's blue and, and yep. pink. But you have that background have some meaning to it. That could work too. And I would ease up on the stroke of this for sure. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I'd ease it up, bold up, make the text a little bit larger. Yep. Elegant and nice. Mm-hmm. Overall, I think that's a lot. That's the screen. All right, hold on. Uh, here's my prototype video with some micro interactions. Ooh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's go full screen with this and rewind. Okay, brace yourself. Interesting. Boop. Boop. Mm, yeah. I like how the little blob moves. Oh, look. Look at that. The little, the little uh, swipe. Ah, oh, love it. Fancy. I like how that blob's moving in the background. Mm -hmm. Cool. That's just fun, fun to play yeah. with. If and I like a, how that's a transparent. Yeah, if this was a web interface, then totally the hover would be great. But yeah. Mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, I like that. And I, again, I like how, again, this isn't hover, but it's actually knocking it out. Yeah. So that's a mask situation, mm -hmm. I guess. Cool. Great job, a lot of work going into this. Following you, yeah, I'm stalking you now, because uh, Kartik, you did a fantastic job. I'm looking forward to tracking this. Nice job. Cool project. All right, how's everybody doing out there? Uh, Cool. Oh, there we go. So yeah, the oh, the second half of the week is oh yeah, myself, Terry, Jason, pro tips, graphic design, lots of fun stuff. Oh, that's right. Schedule is a little bit different. Mm-hmm. Having it, you can see uh, actually right below us. Hopefully you're on Behance. You can see the streams coming up and all that good stuff. Yep. So uh, yeah. Yeah, Dana, less than uh, I, two minutes late. Yeah, let's hop you, over. Did you want to see? Yeah, yeah let's hop over just very quickly. And uh, we'll go over a few things. So kind of take a look at what we did so far. We have uh, our onboarding, and I may continue some of this at some point in the future, but we have our onboarding experience. You can either drag to advance to the next screen. You can press next. Whoop, whoop. There we go. We got these little cute things, and I may do a, a separate tutorial on how to do those lovely little page, page indicators at some point in the near future. Whoop, oh boy. I almost closed it. And then we have uh, our home screen. I didn't get a chance to do actually the story interaction, which I wanted to do, but maybe we'll do that at some point in the future. And we have our profile, which we created. We can drag up like that. And we can also switch between photos and posts. I do have to figure out why that jumps like that, but I'll figure that out. And then the last thing I want to touch on very quickly is if you do want to turn some of this into a presentation, let me go ahead and just very quickly create an artboard. Let's say 1920 by 1080, something like this. This might be a bit too large, but whatever. We're going to create a very quick rectangle. We're going to do this very quickly. 
we're gonna grab an image, like a background image, pop this into place, something like that. And then we, what you we might wanna do is grab a device frame, which you can find a lot of different places. Pop this somewhere about here, right? Somewhere in the middle. Let's come on, there we go, snaps into place. Then you can grab some of your elements. What you can do is you can turn this entire thing into a component. Turn it into a component, you can copy it. It probably just messed up everything else, but you can always fix that. Paste it, you can paste it behind the, of course you could, you could leave that stuff there if you wanted to, but you can also mask it inside of a, a rectangle that's behind this so you don't see all the elements outside of it. And then you can basically have three separate presentation artboards and then, you know, kind of transition back and forth between them. But yeah, that, yeah. that I think that's it, that'll do it. All right, I think that's it as well. Yeah. So this was really fun. Howard, I've really enjoyed hanging out with you the past this was fun. two days. It's been fantastic. I'm gonna miss you already, but we might be getting together sooner rather than later. We'll see how things go in the world of viruses. Yeah, no kidding. But yeah. Thank you so much, Kara and Richard and Lena and Steve and everyone. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, and special thank you to Howard. So super cool. We're looking forward to following you on like on Twitter mainly, yep. uh, all the social medias as you start to post some of this stuff. As we as you start to um, post some things on the March update as well. Yeah, so. March update is coming in March. In so March. at some point this but month, I will have no. videos <laughs> on the new features. Let'sxd.com. Follow me on Twitter at Pinsky. You'll find all that good stuff in yeah. March. Into it. Well, thank you so much, Howard. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. We appreciate you. Hang out with us tomorrow, by the way, 9 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely have a daily creative challenge and uh, various evangelist streams and all that stuff. Check the schedule below. Totally. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a good one. Bye. See ya.